Welcome to our Sakata series on vegetable production. Today we're talking seeds versus seedlings. When should you use seeds and when should you use seedlings? And what is the different advantages of the one versus the other? Lolo, how are you doing? Good in yourself. No, good, good. Right, okay. We're standing here in a nursery today, um, specifically with seeds, uh, with, with seedlings. Just give me an idea, what is the main advantages of using seedlings over seeds okay um so as you can see these look fairly the same size yeah uh what happens is that what i've noticed in the field especially when you don't have skilled workers and they're sowing seeds directly into the soil one would sow too deep the other one was sow too shallow and when they germinate they germinate at different times which affects your harvest meaning you're going to harvest at different times that's the first thing the second thing is that when you have seedlings it's easy to plant them you plant them at the soil line as you can see so for a worker it's easy just to tell them plant it until this um soil line yep. rather than when you've got seed and you tell them two centimeters two centimeters means there's a different thing to all of them so that becomes difficult for them so that's the main thing that i've noticed in the field and are there certain crops that's better suited to basically do seedlings and other crops that's better suited for seeding yes um so for instance things like your cabbage your tomatoes your peppers things which generally have smaller seed it's advised that you do seedlings and then your bigger seeds such as beans your squashes those you can do directly into the soil but you do have scenarios where people have got problems with the rats for instance the rats would eat the seeds if you've got that problem then i'd suggest that you do seedlings even if you do have squash so and then um, if you look at something like um, root crops for example um, what would you go with root crops would you go seedlings or would you just sow um, as normal oh so your things like your carrots you'd sow directly even though the seeds are small uh, also onions people would sow directly uh, with beetroot and spinach either or some people choose to do it directly some people choose to do seedlings on preference okay so what I, the other thing that I want to know is um, Obviously, there's a germination percentage when you when you sow seed and when I do the planting Then I basically know that every single seed has already germinated and it's um, It's emerged so I know that when I plant something it's there correct. That's correct And does that also help with the fact that? Um, with certain crops, it's very very expensive to put these things into the ground so that I make sure with your meaning your fertilizer your chemicals everything that you need to put around it I'm going to do in any case so I want to make sure that I've got a hundred percent plant population at the end of the day that is very much correct I mean uh, some of the seeds are expensive you can get to something about one rand to one rand fifty rand a seed so you do not want to waste that uh, and the alternative way or the best way to go is to do seedlings okay so and then um, the other thing that I want to know is when you look at how do I uh, um, gauge where the seedlings that I'm getting is actually quality or that the nursery uh, uh, basically has taken shortcuts okay no that's a very good question um, so with things like your your cabbage with your cabbage you always want to inspect the the inner leaf there that internal leaf that it's not broken in any way yeah. Uh, you want to make sure that it's intact and it looks proper. Generally, you want to look at your leaves that there's no insects, no spots, no holes. Uh, when it comes to things like tomatoes, you don't want them flowering. Uh, if they're flowering, they're too old. Um, so those are the type of general things that you'd look for. So talking about that, so there's a specific cut off date uh, where um, uh, an age where after that it's not feasible for me to plant the seedlings anymore. Yes, that's correct. So um, usually they take between four to five weeks uh, from seeding to uh, mature size, depending on whether it's winter or summer. And so what happens is that if you leave them for longer, the roots cannot expand in there. So that is detrimental for the seedling. So you want to get it out as soon as possible from that four weeks, five weeks. You don't want to wait seven, eight weeks while it's still in the tray. Again, okay. poof, the magic of TV. Now you've got two seedlings in there. <laughs> yes. You've got an older one there. What is the problem with that one specifically? Um, so the problem with this one is too big. Uh, when you put it in the field, because of the root system won't be able to support it, it's just going to fall over. So it just falls over. When it's in the tray, it basically gets, um, it's got supports on the sides and then that's fine. But when you put it in the soil, then it basically falls over. It falls over, that's correct. Um, so taking everything into account, taking everything into account, what are the crops that I can say, okay, cool, if I have only have X amount of money, I can get away with sowing or 
the ones that's a total no no i need to go to seedlings okay um so as discussed previously your root crops uh your your beetroot and your spinach especially you can do it in directly into the ground carrots and onions are anywhere directly into the ground but other crops are like your squashes your watermelon your butternuts uh, even your cucumber you can do that directly into the ground provided that you don't have any problems with rodents but that will that will be uh, um, then depending on what the amount of time is that you've got because you're going to save time uh, um, with uh, with the seedlings uh, but then there you've got your no-no crops which you need to do seedlings which are those uh, those will be things like your tomatoes yeah your peppers uh, things like your cabbage and cauliflower as well as broccoli those are the ones that it's a no-no just do seedlings end of story otherwise you're most probably going to have a failure yeah right Lolo, thank you very much thank you right so this is our uh, vegetable production series with Sakata. Uh, a little bit about seedlings versus seed um, if you've got any questions comment below or a link on top or below depending on where you're watching this and then you can get in contact with Sakata directly stay tuned for more of our videos till next time cheers